Hey everybody, David Patrick Green, davidpatrickgreen.com, hackhollywood.com, actorpower.com. Okay, today's question that comes from Tony in Santa Monica is, if I want to be a professional actor, should I do background work? Well, the answer is a resounding, mm, maybe, but probably not. Um, okay, so why would I say maybe, and why am I kind of a little wishy-washy on the subject? Well, don't mistake my wishy-washiness for weakness, okay, because I'm going to explain. Um, I'm a little wishy-washy because the one cool thing about doing background work is that you actually get to go onto a set, a professional set, and you see how it operates, and you'll see how the professionals there behave, okay? How they treat each other, how they treat uh, the actors, what the actors do, what their job entails, you know, you see their trailers, you see how the meals work, and all of that stuff. So if you treat it like a professional opportunity and you study what goes on and maybe you write notes and you say, okay, uh, you know, the AD does this, the grips do this, the lighting guys do that, and you really pay attention, the director, the producer, you see what everybody does and where they go and where they don't go and where they shouldn't go, then you can really make some use out of that. And I think that can really help you because the first day as a professional actor when you get to a professional set, you know, you could be crapping your pants. You know, the first first acting job I ever did was with one of the top actors in the world, and I was literally, uh, oh my god, right? And I was trying to be humble and yet trying to be cool and just so many things, and I had never been on a professional set before, although I guess I had. I had done some background work, but I didn't see it the way I see things now, so you can benefit from my experiences. So if that's what you're going to do, if you're going to do background work at all, Make a little cash, but study how things work, okay? Be a student of the industry because that is step three in Hack Hollywood is know the business. How can you work in the business if you have no idea how it operates? And as an actor, your primary job is going to take place on the set, okay? And in the trailer. Trust me, you're going to spend a lot of time in trailers. so bring stuff to do <laughs> or you're going to be bored out of your mind. Okay, so that would be the reason why I was a little wishy-washy on whether you should do it or not. Here's why you shouldn't do background work because one, it's highly addictive. You're going to start getting paid to go and do nothing for 12 hours a day and some of those paychecks, especially on commercial background work, can really get to be big. Like if they're going to shoot two or three commercials on the same day, they can pay you double or triple and if it goes into overtime, you're making a lot of money, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But it's not very helpful in becoming a professional actor because you have to be available for things when you are a professional actor. Now look, if, if you can be disciplined and you want to just make money and be on the set and finance your acting career, um, it, you know, I'm not totally against that. The problem is, like I just said, it's like, should you do heroin to find out that you shouldn't do it? You know, uh, or, you know, I don't think that's a really good metaphor, but don't do it because it's addictive, okay? So the thing is, you may say, yeah, I'm just gonna do it to finance my lifestyle, but then you, you know what people do, right? When they make money, they spend more money. And so you're spending all this money because you're making more money, and then when you wanna make the transition to acting and you need to be available all day for auditions and whatever it is else that you're gonna be doing, internships, and you get the call to do background work, are you gonna be able to turn down that 200, 300, 400, 500? sometimes into the thousands of dollars per day. Are you gonna be able to turn that down? And I've seen a lot of people who started out as actors and ended up just doing a lot of background work. And it, you know, the other problem is it doesn't really lead anywhere. I mean, you could just be doing background work for a long, long time. And mm, I don't know if that's what you wanna do, fine, go for it. But if you wanna be a professional actor, I'd be very careful and I really would advise against it. Um, but so if you want, you know, if you're going to make the transition 
from background to regular acting, that's fine. But I, you know, I really suspect that's going to be a tough thing for you to give up. That you got that lifestyle, you got that apartment that you're living in that you wouldn't have been able to afford if it wasn't for all this background money. So, you know, how are you going to switch back to your old life? Because as as um, Daryl Hannah said in uh, the movie Wall Street. It's much worse to have had money and lost it than to never have had money at all, which is absolutely true. If you're poor, you can be happy and poor. But if you become rich and then you go back to being poor, life is going to suck, okay? Because you've seen the other side. And, you, you know, that simple life that uh, you once had, you, you're not going to want to go back to that. So, as a rule, I would say don't do background work because it's highly addictive and... It doesn't really forward your career, okay? So what should you do? You should forego all of these other things and get a job in the entertainment business. Like, that is a job in the entertainment business, but it's a job that doesn't really lead to anything. If you can get a job in a production office doing something that you are good at and learning how the business works and meeting producers and people that sign checks, that would be extremely valuable, far more valuable than being a background actor in terms of how it will positively affect your acting career, your future acting career. Because what does anybody's career depend upon? The right people knowing who you are and what you can do. And that's about it. Nothing else really matters. The people that are going to sign the checks, and this is in any industry, the people that are going to sign the checks with your name on it have to know who you are and have to know what you're capable of. So how do you do that? You get a job in the business doing whatever because you're going to learn so much. And while you're there, you can seek out other opportunities. You don't have to stay. If you get into the accounting department at Disney, that doesn't mean you have to stay there because you're working at Disney. So you can call around and call casting, call production and... Say, hey, um, you know, I've got a little free time. Do you guys need me to do anything for you? Well, let me let me help you out, okay? So don't want to go too far off topic, but uh, that would be a better alternative than working in background. Or if you've got some money that you can sort of live off of for a little while, then just do accelerated, massive acting activities. Train your butt off. Practice night and day. Uh, do you know, student films and uh, independent films or what have you and, you know, do some kind of internship or voluntary work for a production company or a casting director and see the business. So combine all that stuff if you have some money lying around. But as soon as you get involved in background, it can be a total vacuum and it'll just suck you in and everyone else is doing it and you'll see some of them even have side businesses doing whatever, but... It's not the business of acting. So if you really, 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 really want to be an actor, then do the things that will help you out with that and don't do things that will lead you astray from that. Okay, that's it for now, guys. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and share it because sharing and helping others leads to success and subscribe so you get more videos just like this. I will talk to you soon.